Now let's talk about Grindrod because this is a company that did so well back about 15 years ago that it developed its own little fan club and people couldn't get enough of them. Remember the business is a combination of different businesses all related in some way to logistics, freight, transport, shipping, very big in shipping. So freight services, yes, but shipping of course is a tricky global business where the Baltic dry index goes up and down like you can't believe. It also had a division that did some commodities trading where they would actually buy cargoes of physical commodities, hold them, trade them. And then finally, it's got Bidvest Bank, which is uh, sort of a medium scale player doing a little bit of stuff there in the sort of broader environment, not Bidvest Bank, Grinrod Bank, mm -hmm. involved peripherally, interestingly, in the social security cash paymaster solutions saga. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, 11 billion rands worth of market cap. Not currently profitable, so showing a negative PE. Dividend yield historically, I didn't remember when they paid that dividend. It says they're 0.41. Let's go to the share chart. You can see it's been a nasty slide since commodity prices started sliding in 2014, 2015. What now? Yeah, listen, I think it's, it's, it's probably going to stay like that for a while. Um, mm. You know, the, the problem with shipping is, as you, as you said, it's, you're at the mercy of the big sort of international, the likes of Maersk and, and company. Yes who are building bigger ships and being able to ship at lower sort of unit prices. Uh, you know, Grindrod doesn't have that scale, I think, to compete in, 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 in that and market. And they had a focus on dry bulk shipping, which meant, you know, moving cargoes like iron ore and so on around. And of course, you know, those, there's been a decided sort of cooling down in that environment. Yeah, uh, you know, the big, the big iron ore sort of mines are in Western Australia and in, 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 uh, in Brazil. So yeah. you really need to have a much higher iron ore price and a much buoyant Chinese economy. Because I'm looking at my notes here. So this is a group that has total group revenue of about 25 billion rand, of which 20.5 comes from the shipping business and only 3.8 billion rands worth of turnover in the freight business. However, the freight business, thank you very much, made about 450 million rands worth of profits. Whereas on 20.5 billion rands worth of turnover in the shipping business, they made a princely sum of minus 83 million rands. Yeah. So they're losing money on the shipping business as a result of having to sort of supply things at less than break even and amounts to pay for ships that they don't want that they de de defer delivery and all yeah, sorts of stuff. Yeah, there's huge capex then. You know, you, you're, you're a price taker. Whatever the mm. Baltic dry index says you must take, that's what you must yeah. take. You know, you yeah. don't get to set your price. Global shipping rates. They yeah. also had a huge impairment on their rail business. They were building these uh, these rail cars and decided that that wasn't, wasn't their core business. So they had to impair about one and a half billion in the okay, last year. And they've also got that, um, you know, freight services business up there, which involves Mozambique and yeah, the shipping Matola, in and out to the Matola. Matola Port, terminal yeah. which is below the Mozambique financial services though to give them credit is pretty solid and did chip in some good numbers how are they involved in the SASA thing do they are they involved with effectively granting a small sort of quasi banking account to every social grant recipient yeah I think there's yeah. a there's a need for a banking license somewhere yeah. along the line in that yeah. contract so they just yeah. provide the banking license but they also have a very nice business called core shares in, in financial ah, services yes, indeed and uh, you know there's a that's, that's an exchange traded fund operation a, exactly and over the years that b has been doing consistently mm. well so mm. financial services actually the, the highlight in in, in Grindr, yeah. surprisingly okay but it sounds tricky to yeah. be perfectly honest with the global economy being a bit iffy china being a little bit in sort of deceleration mode commodity prices look to me like they might have topped out a bit i'm inclined to go not hot still yeah m me as well i think mm. you're going to need much more economic activity taking place in, in south africa for them to be able to to get back on track Okay, good. So not hot.